shit, you know, for Thingiverse, and I thought, hey, might as well do a YouTube video for it. So, I guess that's what I'm doing. So, basically what I did is I got an awkward trapezoid, and I played with it until I got, you know, like, the little shape inspector in this area, like, around here. I played with that until I got, like, shape like this, like, I did the left right radius and the right radius and the top height and stuff like that. And this is the bridge around here and this is gonna be kind of confusing because yeah. But um this is like a texture, you know, because it kinda of, it's a huge battle freighter. So it's gonna kinda of look like the texture of a Death Star, like a Star Destroyer or something like that. So right now I'm in the process of cutting it in half because it was too big to fit on it and if I was to print it, it wouldn't spare all the details. So I'm going to group them and then I'm going to put them onto the ship and like that and like that. Alright then. I'm going to put this at an um, estimated angle of 13 degrees. Yeah, 13 degrees, 13. Wrong direction. Minus 13. And then on this one, Minus 13. Alrighty. Time to put them over to the ship. First, I've got to make them holes. Hole. Hole number one and hole number two. Shrink it just a bit, just so we can get it. But dumb, 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 but dumb. Yo, all right. Looks like we are going to group that one. I'm gonna take the other one. Put it, shrink it just a bit. Looks like I was right on the estimated angle, believe it or not. I was kind of off, but hey, it's good enough. I mean, this isn't like a piece of something where it's got to be exact, it's just something for fun. So, alright, now we got the texture, and now we are going to add a defense system, and maybe after that, some towers, some more like control towers and stuff around the bridge and then maybe like some more textures on the side and then some boosters. Alright, I'm going to take the cylinder and I'm going to make it just a little smaller like that. I'm going to take this one and make it smaller like this. Alright, I'm going to take this one and shrink it a bit on the top, like that. And I'm going to center it, because once I finish doing this, it'll be, you know, I can duplicate it, sorry. I just had a little bit of a brain fart. And then I'm going to group it. Dumb, but dumb, and then I'm gonna take the cylinder, which happened to run into my face, um, and it is all the way off over there, and that's nice. Why are you doing that? I'm gonna take the cylinder, and this is gonna be like the cannon, so I'm gonna make it really, really small and skinny like that, and I'm gonna go like that, and without holding shift. Let's see how's that? It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. All right. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna rotate it this way. 
just a little bit so you know it kind of looks like a turret. I'm going to duplicate it. Done. I'm going to take it over to the other cylinder. glad there's a undo button because if there wasn't I would probably die. Why are you not doing it? Oh my gosh. There we go. Computer's just been extremely dang it, slow today. So I'm going to take you over and I'm going to rise you up. I'm going to go like that. Let's see. No, it looks like it's just got to be a little taller off. Higher, should I say? Higher off the ground. Or off the grid. It's going to be a double cannon turret. Let's see. And then I'm just going to rise that up just a bit. Like so. And then I'm going to take the other one and raise that up. I'm going to try as hard as that way. How high are you? Let's see. You are, uh, um, 13.7. Let's do this one. might be good. I'm not 100% sure. Alright. Looks good. Looks a little good. Pretty sure it's good. Looks good. So I'm going to find out. Yeah, it's good. Alright, I'm going to take that. I'm going to group it all. But done. Great. And I'm going to take it over to our ship. And that's a little too tiny. Um, I think there can be a large turret that's pretty huge for a smaller ship. It's going to go right there. There can be another one across from that. It can't be in front of the bridge, that's not very nice. I think there should be a turret down here. You know. And then I'm going to take that one over here. But dun dun, that looks nice. And we're gonna group them. <laughs> that looks really nice. It's like a huge freighter with a ton of people on it. And there's the bridge. Time maybe to add some more like control towers. Just like I don't know. Maybe I might just like do something. Ooh! I just had a great idea. I'm gonna make something like this. No, I might do some bridging problems. I was originally planning to make like a thing that went like that and then like down like that and then like something in the middle, but no, I don't think that's a good idea. Tell me in the comments if you think I should have done that because I'm not sure. Um, let's do something like, ooh, let's just do like a cylinder like with a sphere. I seem to be using only basic shapes. Huh. 
Well, this is like one of those things, except I had to use not basic shapes for that. You know, the awkward trapezoid. Let's do a line, put that in the middle. And make you a tiny bit small. And the cylinder, just a tiny bit small. holding caps lock. Alright, undo. And again, I am thankful for that undo button. My life has been saved so many times with that button. I swear. But I don't swear, so, yeah. I mean, there was a couple times when I didn't even know that that button existed. And that was when I was, like, first doing, like, starting to get Sweet, now those pieces are aligned, or should I say shapes. Um, let's take them and lower them to each other, like merge them. And if you think this is really, really boring, you don't have to watch all this. You can just like skip through to like the printing time lapse or something, like when I'm printing it. If you think this is extremely boring, and I bet you a lot of, and I bet a lot of you people think it is. So, let's just go that, and then we're going to take you over to the um, next to the bridge, like, just a little higher. Yeah, you don't have to make this spaceship exactly the same as mine if you want to make any spaceship at all using this video, but... Yeah, I'm just showing you how you can use basically the awkward trapezoid to make some pretty cool shapes. And how I use them to make some spaceships. Yeah, and you can use it to like make cool race cars and basically anything you really want. But I'm going to be adding some boosters. I made before this a booster that I just use every time. I just have some random shapes that I saved. But, um, the booster here, called W, because I had no better idea to what to call it. Why are, there we go, now I have two on there, okay. How many boosters should there be? And since it's a huge ship, there's probably going to be like a ton, so... i put one maybe like right there. Ooh, I think that's good. Touching? I'm not sure. No, I'm pretty sure it's not. Perfect. That does it's a little too far off. Maybe I'll just a little bit that way until I'm 100% sure that it's touching. Still not 100%. I'm just gonna guess that it's touching, and if it's not, we'll figure out when it's done printing. I'm just pretty sure that it's touching, so alright, let's do Command D on the selected shape. And we can rise it up. I think there should be five boosters. No, like one in the middle. And then we can have another one, Command G. Down a bit. And like here. Into the side. Now I have to do the whole thing to make sure it's touching again. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. That's good. Alright, there's the boosters there. I'm gonna take some more, like Command D. And that's actually a pretty good placement. And it's touching, what do you know? And then Command D. Nope. Wrong spot, Command D. Sweet. 
I tick it up like that. Just about the level of the other booster. Pretty sure it's about that. And there's some extra space. You know, I'm just gonna add like a design right around here and maybe around here. Let's go like basic shapes and just scribble over out here. Wait a second, I just realized something. Wait, I'm done. I don't want that. The booster here appears to be protruding below the grid. There we go. Great. It is now at level zero. Alright, back to the scroll. Edit scribble. I'm probably just going to do something like da da, you know, like an L shape or something like that, like this and this. And maybe I can do some more designing, like around here. Like some circuit designs, like I usually do. Something like that. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna raise you up. I'm gonna go like that. Let's see? No, it looks like it's just gotta be a little taller off. Higher, should I say? Higher. Or off the grid. It's gonna be a double cannon turret. Let's see. And then I'm just gonna rise that up just a bit. Like so. And then I'm gonna take the other one and rise that up. I'm gonna try as hard as it wait, how high are you? Let's see. Um thirteen point seven. Let's do this one. Let's go. Um thirteen point seven. Nope. Let's try this one. Thirteen points. I think that's good. That might be good. I'm not 100% sure. Alright. Let's see. Looks good. Looks a little good. Pretty sure it's good. Looks good. So I'm gonna find out. Yeah, it's good. Alright, I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna group it all. But done. Great. And I'm gonna take it over to our ship. And that's a little too tiny. Um, I think there could be a large turret that's pretty huge for a smaller ship. It's gonna go right there. There can be another one across from that. Not protruding. Hey, it can't be in front of the bridge. That's not very nice. I think there should be a turret down here. You know. Over here. But dun dun. That looks nice. And we're gonna group them. That looks really nice. It's like a huge freighter with a ton of people on it. And there's the bridge. Time maybe to add some more like control towers. Just like. I don't know. Maybe I might just like do something. Ooh, I just had a great idea. 
and I'm gonna make something like this. No, I might do some bridging problems. I was originally planning to make like a thing that went like that and then like down like that and then like something in the middle, but no, I don't think that's a good idea. Tell me in the comments if you think I should have done that because I'm not sure. Um, let's do something like, ooh, let's just do like a cylinder like with a sphere. Dang, I seem to be using only basic shapes. Huh, well, this is like one of those things, except I had to use not basic shapes for that. You know, the awkward trapezoid. Let's do a line, put that in the middle. And make you a tiny bit small. And the cylinder. Just a tiny bit small. Oops. No, I was holding caps lock. Alright, undo. And again, I am thankful for that undo button. My life has been saved so many times with that button. I swear. But I don't swear, so, yeah. I mean, there was a couple times when I didn't even know that that button existed. And that was when I was, like, first doing, like, starting to get. Sweet. Now those pieces are aligned, or should I say shapes. Um, and let's take them and lower them to each other, like merge them. And if you think this is really, really boring, you don't have to watch all this. You can just like skip through to like the printing time lapse or something like when I'm printing it. If you think this is extremely boring and I bet you a lot of, and I bet a lot of you people think it is. So let's just go that. Take you over to the um, next to the bridge, like just a little higher. Yeah, you don't have to make this spaceship exactly the same as mine if you want to make any spaceship at all using this video, but yeah, I'm just showing you how you can use basically the awkward trapezoid to make some pretty cool shapes and how I use them to make some spaceships. Yeah, you can use it to like make cool race cars and basically anything you really want. But I'm gonna be adding some boosters. I made before this a booster that I just use every time. I just have some random shapes that I saved. But um, the booster here called W because I had no better idea to what to call it. Why are, there we go, now I have two out there, okay. How many boosters should there be? And since it's a huge ship, there's probably gonna be like a ton, so. I'm gonna put one maybe like right there. Ooh, I think that's good. Touching, I'm not sure. No, I'm pretty sure it's not. Perfect. That does it's a little too far out. Maybe I'll just a little bit of that way until I'm a hundred percent sure that it's touching. Still not one hundred percent. I'm just gonna guess that it's touching. And if it's not, we'll figure out when it's done printing. I'm just pretty sure that it's touching, so alright, let's do Command D on the selected shape. And we can rise it up. I think there should be five boosters. No, like one in the middle. And then we can have another one, Command G. Down a bit. Here and to the side. 
Now I have to do the whole thing to make sure it's touching again. Okay. That's good. Alright, there's the boosters there. I'm gonna take some more, like, command D. And that's actually a pretty good placement. And it's touching, what do you know? And then command D. Nope. Wrong spot, command D. Sweet. I'm gonna take it up like that. Just about the level of the other booster. Pretty sure it's about that. And there's some extra space. You know, I'm just gonna add like a design right around here and maybe around here. Let's go like basic shapes. To scribble over out here. Wait a second, I just realized something. Wait, I'm done. I don't want that. The booster here appears to be protruding below the grid. There we go. Great. It is now at level zero. Alright, back to the scroll. Edit scribble. I'm probably just going to do something like that, uh, you know, like an L shape or something like that, like this and this. And then maybe I can do some more designing, like around here, like some circuit designs, like I usually do. Something like that. Just like a little loop. Uh, it's good enough. Alright, I'm done with this scribble. And then I'm going to shrink it and put it into place. Alright. I'm gonna rotate that 90 degrees, and I was holding caps lock. 90 degrees, and then turn it into a, a hole like that. I'm gonna have to rise it up a bit, just like that. Ooh, I hope it fits. Ooh, I'm not sure it fits. Just gonna have to shrink it just a little bit more. Alright, let's just hope that it works this time. This is gonna be some major bridging problems when it comes to printing, but the details are so small I'm actually not even sure they'll work. It's just a space filler. that little shape right here and then we're gonna put like that and we are going to group all seven shapes. One, two, three, four, six, seven. Yeah, that's good. And we do not want it multicolored. I don't want it multicolored. And after this we are going to export and print it. Oh yeah. I wonder what color it should be. I don't have that many colors. I have red, orange, yellow, blue, and black. Well, I guess it's done now. See the color? I'll probably do it in like black or something. Um, no, it'll, it can be. No. Yeah, it's gonna be blue. Okay, it's gonna be blue. I'm gonna do export the shape as an STL file. We're gonna open our handy slicer bow bicer. 
like so. And every single time I open the slicer, it's go like, oh, you want a new version of Cure to download? I'm like, no, I don't. Thank you very much. <sighs> it just really annoys me when that happens. So look, it'll pop up like any second now. Like in three, two, one. Wait, again, three, two, one. Never mind, whatever. But, um, yeah. It's gonna take a while to pop up. Yep, there it is. Yeah, I don't want to download a new version of Cure. I don't freaking care. And I just had to do that. And we're gonna put it into our thingy, like that. And of course it's too big and it's gonna suggest something like 8 hours to print this whole thing and no way it's gonna be 8 hours. <laughs> Probably just gonna have to shrink it to one just for the sake of time. Watch it load. And again, if you don't want to watch all this boring design stuff, you don't have to. Well, believe it or not, it only put four hours. Let's shrink it down so it's only like one hour. Will take a while to load, yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's just do something while we're waiting. I'm just gonna check my settings. Like, I love to use rafts, rafts are so nice. Yes, an hour 50 minutes. Um, it is the afternoon right now, so if I want to have this done, I'm going to put it maybe. Let's just check to see if it will work. You know, for the preservation of detail, I'm just gonna keep it this way. Alright, we're gonna save it as... S Night Space Freighter... Ter. That's not how you spell freighter. Freighter, and then it's gonna be a G-code on the desktop. And then there's this little thing down here telling me that it's saved. I don't care, but okay. Hey, it's gonna take a while. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Alright, there's going to be a time lapse in three, two, one. Time lapse. Nice, nice knife thingy. Well, chisel, should I say? Looks pretty good. And this is what the print looks like. Well, if you can't see it from here. Yes, we can. <laughs> There's that. But um, I'm gonna quickly scrape it off with this. It kind of warped on the back, but if you can see. That's it before I took the raft off. The detail is on the back with the boosters. The turrets did okay. The texture did really nicely. And the back is really nice. I should say, I thought the back did better than I thought it would. But um, in case you're wondering, I forgot to include this 
how I got the shape is I used an awkward trapezoid and just kind of played around in the shape inspector with it. So, in case you're wondering where that came from, that's where. It's time to take the raft off. Nice. I love how easy the rafts come off. It's trash. And this is it. It was printed in 3D Solutex. Um, See-through blue PLA filament, 1.75 millimeters diameter filament. That's because what this printer uses. But quick shout out to you know 3D Solutech. I think their filament is great because it can do great stuff with it, and it gives us nice shine to the prints. Well, thanks for watching the video. I hope you like. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Subscribe.